not very pleasant at the moment. But these are, um, these are prices we need to pay if we want to cruise around the world. Good from A to B with a boat. You have to face the ocean. Hello from uh, Fiji. We're approaching the island. Uh, we can see it on the horizon. I won't point the camera because you won't see it. Uh, what we have in the water Every now and then we have patches of uh, rocks from a volcano that erupted more than two weeks ago uh, and it spreads uh, over a hundred kilometers uh, diameter of uh, a floating island of rocks and yesterday we, I could hear uh, things touching or scraping along the boat and I came out and I could see these little round floaty things I didn't know what they were but today I tried to fish some out with the fishing nets. I uh, couldn't, the fishing net is too, is too big. But some are the, the size of uh, coconut. And because the stone is porous, they, they float. So uh, I will try again before we arrive uh, closer to the, to the island. sleeping she called me because uh, we we're getting very close so I called uh, I called uh, the fishing boat about a hundred times nothing uh, we put on all our lights deck lights flood lights navigation lights everything we had on it was like a Christmas tree and uh, we were less than uh, two miles uh, when uh, I tried over and over again to get him on the radio and when we got to less than a mile he, he got back to us he probably saw the light and he changed uh, he changed course uh, but he was very close nose to nose nose to nose as Anna says so he was pointing directly at us um, he mumbled something he said Roger Roger okay Roger Roger and he changed course I asked him if he has, if he's dragging nets behind him. How far are the nets? And he said, Roger, Roger. So I guess his name was Roger. Roger, Roger. We got his ship, call sign, and everything. If we catch him in the port, I'm gonna go and have a word with him because he wasn't watching. He had no one on the on the bridge. So we're 19 miles, 19 miles to go. Windy, windy, windy at the entrance of Suba Harbor. We've got here a wreck in front of us uh, and a few others left and right. And we've requested permission to enter the harbor. We've got our quarantine flag up and we're gonna proceed to the yacht club where we will do hopefully the check-in today so we can step on shore and not wait until Monday so we got till three o'clock it's one o'clock now we got till three o'clock to do the check-in uh, and then party time this is Suva
Thank you. So let's see what this thing is. Yeah. yeah? I want to see what I can do. What was this? Oh my god, the color, look at the color. Oh, that's me as nice thing. That's mixed with coconut. Yes. And uh, that's a coconut milk. Yes. They scrap it and they mix it with that. Uh huh. And a little bit sugar. Do you want a little bit? Oh, my god. Come on. Try it. Let's try it. You can have it there. That's like we call this in a uh, uh, Fiji bread, a pigeon bread. Pigeon bread. Yeah. Go on! It smells a little bit small. Fijian yeah. bread, wow. <laughs> Hello! Tasty. Hello, girly girly. You like it? We eat to up. Okay. If you put some Nutella on it, it will be much better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not sweet enough, it should be sweeter. Sorry, he's not sure about it. Can you try it? It's not bad. along the coast of uh, Fiji and we've got our Genoa out uh, lovely weather nice winds to go down along the coast um, and uh, we came very close I would say what 50 60 meters to this to this catamaran he's motoring against the wind and waves and uh, just shows you you know you can relax but people can come really really close to you so yeah What is her name? Uh, Litiana. Litiana? Yes. Litiana, what you've done to your dress? Look, mango? Yes, mango. Uh, <laughs> how old are you, Litiana? Bakibida. 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 Yeah, we came with the boat and we're just looking around to see what's how is the village and um, the marina. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
We took a walk to Visaise village today. It's uh, on Fiji day. So I'm wearing my Fiji t-shirt. There we go. Anna is not wearing anything. I don't have anything blue. So thanks to the British, we think this railway exists through these villages. The sugar cane, yeah. So um, we're gonna walk back. It's about an hour walk to the marina. We walked along the road. The road is pretty busy, cars going up and down. So we asked some locals if we can take the railway trucks back to the marina, back to our village. And they said, yes, it's a short. Dark as well. Yes, we don't wanna be there in the dark, in the forest, in the jungle here. Yes. Uh, so we're gonna see how long it's gonna take us back to the very exotic around here papayas trees mangoes we have our rucksack we're ready for some mangoes so they're celebrating 49 years and i celebrated by having a very short haircut yesterday <laughs> i thought i should trim it's very hot 38 during the day around here so uh a lot of hair not good if you hear the train huh no. just wave <laughs> <laughs> Where, where do you take it? To the mill. To the mill? Yeah. The one in Lautoka? Yeah. Uh-huh. And the train, how, the train is coming to pick it up? Yeah. And how do you get your, uh, how do you get your money for this? What, you, it goes there? Yeah, they, it goes, goes there. And they put it on the scale? Yeah. And how do the train knows when to come and pick it up? Or how do you know when to load it? There is a ticket book. Ah, oh, there is a ticket book. Yeah. How often does the train come? Huh? How often does the train come? Yeah, one hour, two hours coming. No, but how often? Like once, once a, a week, day, twi two, week. Two, twice a week. No, no, every day. Every day? Yeah. Ah, okay. Every day at the same time? Yeah. Okay. coming out of the water she is a bit of a mucky pup underneath after cleaning it constantly yes there we go these are the other two mucky pups sweating sweating it's like 35 degrees down here so uh, we're gonna jet wash uh, go on the cradle for tonight, do a few bits and pieces, and then we're relaunching tomorrow. We're not anti-fouling, we'll do that in New Zealand. There she is, the queen of Tahiti and Fiji. So the washing it's done, she's nice and clean and now uh, we're following these guys, we're going to the pit world or to the hard stand where we're gonna stay for tonight and back in the water tomorrow we have some jobs to do, more cleaning, more scraping, this and that, but in general looking good. There is a passenger relaxing on the boat. <laughs> Is in the shade as well. Lovely. Not a, not a bad place to to stay for a few days. Blue water. We've got the palm trees, and that's us here. Cool.
it's a happy birthday. I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Yes. Chilo, happy birthday. Thank you. Vinaka, Vinaka. Vinaka, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for this. Huh? <laughs> Surprise. Thank you. Thank you very much. Vinaka. Vinaka. Thank you. Yes, Anna will come with this huge cake. <laughs> Thank you, Vinaka. We are off to celebrate the birthday boy today. We done it yesterday. We done it last night. We done it a week before. We're gonna do it a week ahead. And we're just gonna keep on doing it for a month. Yes, of course! Look at this, eh? I got them from uh, Buddha Marina. For your birthday, very chilled welcome to Robinson Crusoe Island check this out flowers and
Egyptian Sebu Sebu ceremony is the central component of all cycle rituals, social gatherings, healing ceremonies, and community meetings. Significant and ancient in Fiji, the Sevu Sevu also marks the time and place for visitors, like us, to seek acceptance into a Fijian village. Bula! Bula!